the madness and free agency continues. But first, make sure you like this video at mag-subscribe. Hit mo na rin ang notification bell para wala kang mamintis na mga ganap ngayong off-season. Kyle Lowry to Miami Heat. Ang mangyayari ay sign and trade. Ibibigay ng Miami sa Toronto si Goran Dragic at si Precious. The contract of Lowry is 3 year 90 million and this one is good for the Miami Heat kaso slight lang pala. Isang signing for the present. He is now 35 years old and good for 3 years talaga. Sakto lang eh no. Kasi yung Miami sa ginagawa nila ngayon ayaw nilang magpaiwan sa current status ng ibang team. They want to contend for that championship right away. Tsaka kinuha nila si Lowry dahil sa timeline ni Jimmy Butler who is turning 32 na binigyan din ng Miami Heat ng 4-year, 186.6 million dollar contract. Knowing the franchise of Miami, hindi naman talaga sila dumadaan ng full rebuilding mode eh. Hanggat si Pat Riley ang nasa taas is meron silang ability to chase superstars na nasa kanilang prime. Lalo na sa mga susunod na NBA draft, wala silang projected first round pick na makukuha. Sa ginawa ng Miami Heat last bubble, parang isang star player away na lang sila to get the championship eh. No? Kaso lang, sobrang small ball na. Yung sentro nila si Bam, around 6 foot 9 lang. And you will add up Kyle Lowry standing 6 flat. Sorry sa mga Miami fans kung medyo off sa akin yung signing na ito. Kahit din naman yung mga sports analyst talaga eh. Grenade pa nga ng ESPN ang sign and trade na ito ng grade C para sa Miami at grade B naman para sa Toronto. Kasi sa signing na ginawa kay Lowry, magigipit sila sa space. Yung Lonzo Ball talaga yung gold sa free agency kaso naunahan yung Miami Heat. Baka focus lang talaga sila kay Lowry. Kasi kung Miami fan ako, I would rather go with Lonzo Ball. Pero ayun na, andun na sa Chicago eh. Pero who knows, baka maging 2019 Lowry yung ipakita niya dito sa Miami. Nasabi kong mapupuno sila sa space kasi binigyan nila si Duncan Robinson ng 5-year, 90 million dollar contract. Ito na yung largest contract para sa isang undrafted player. Very vocal naman kasi yung franchise na kasama ito sa future nila. He became one of the deadliest shooter right now in the NBA. Undrafted yan pero grabe yung nagawa bilang shooter. Hindi katulad ng iba na puro catch and shoot lang. He can create his own shot, can dribble off the screen and pull some jumpers. Truly on the future hindi lang ng Miami kundi ng buong NBA. Yun nga ba? Diba? sobrang small ball kasi nakuha din pala nila si PJ Tucker 2 years, 15 million Marami ang nagulat kasi coming off from a championship Akala nila ikikip ito Kaso ang kinakasama ng ilang box fans is Bakit sa ka-rival pa nila? On paper, sobrang deadly na ng Miami Building a defensive lineup that can shut down multiple teams with multiple superstars Para naman sa New York Knicks, Evan Fournier isang 4-year, 78 million dollar contract. Though expensive pero offensive upgrade para sa kanila. He will be a good fit, tsaka floor spacer ito. Reliable 3-point shooter. Last season, nag-average pa nga ito ng 17 points per game, shooting 41.4% from the 3-point distance. And what a loss para sa Los Angeles Lakers. Alex Caruso is heading to Chicago Bulls. 4-year, 37 million contract. Ginagawa nyo lang meme pero isa to sa mga elite defenders ng liga. Siya yung inaasahan ng Lakers off the bench. Ganda ng ginawa ng Bulls eh no? Nag-ayos ng kanilang starters tapos inayos din yung mga backup players. Samantalang ang nakuha ng Lakers sa first day ng free agency is puro balikbayan. Dwight Howard who became one of the reason noong bubble kung bakit sila nakakuha ng championship. Wayne Ellington na naglaro sa Lakers noong 2015. Kent Bazemore who played also in 2014 at si Trevor Ariza na naglaro dito noong 2007 hanggang 2009. Silang apat ay puro one year and veteran minimum. And that's all for this video. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. I will now step back. Bye-bye.